For as long as language has been a thing, communication has involved a jumbled mess of facts and emotions. And our judgments about a topic of discussion are most often based on emotional content rather than factual content. Words that communicate the exact same facts with opposite emotional meanings are called Russell conjugations. Most people don't know that they exist, but we all know that being steadfast is a good thing, and being stubborn is a bad thing, even though these synonyms refer to the exact same thing. I've already made two YouTube videos describing this situation, how Russell conjugations work, and how they shape the way we view the world. I recommend watching them if you want a deeper description of the topic. AI can both aggravate and illuminate the use of this rhetorical technique. Large language models can automatically generate arguments in favor of anything, using persuasive tools like Russell conjugations to muddy the waters of reality. However, trained properly, they can also find uses of Russell conjugations in the real world and illuminate their other sides. Today, I'm announcing that a beta version of the Russell conjugation illuminator is available for public use. RussellConjugations.com uses a fine-tuned ChatGPT model to identify uses of Russell conjugations in pasted text and automatically generate their emotionally different synonyms. While it's still prone to a few embarrassing mistakes and isn't able to identify all examples, it's a solid start toward revealing this fundamental aspect of language in an accessible way. You can try it out in the link in the description. I currently have no way of monetizing this website and maintaining the tool costs money, so IP addresses are limited to making 15 requests a day. Once more improvements have been made, it will have a lot more valuable use cases, and at that point I might start considering more monetization options. For now, the current AI is available online as a proof of concept, and I hope you'll find it valuable and interesting. There are still many improvements that need to be made. So every generated result has a feedback form where anyone can provide feedback about those results. This will probably be the best way I'll improve the performance of the model from here on out. And I greatly appreciate anyone who takes the time to fill out the feedback form on results they either generated themselves or found online. While there are still many strange errors and blind spots, I believe that they can be fully sorted out to map out and ultimately transform the emotional landscape of language. Thank you, and always remember to reach for the stars.